I think this overhang from global trade is real and we need to get some sign that there is progress being made. And I think that's probably all it will take to get the market going the right direction. Um, I don't think we're going to get a resolution out of this G20 meeting. If people are thinking that, I think expectations are way too high, but I don't think that's being expected right now in the market. Yeah, Doc, if you can say, okay, the Fed risk was a big risk, mm -hmm. maybe that's a, a subsided a little bit. Now you've got trade front and center. Joe Lavornia, by the way, was on earlier today. You know Joe. Mm -hmm. uh, was on the network and called yesterday's speech by, by the Fed chair a game changer. Um, kind of obvious, right? You go from a long way from neutral to just below neutral, stocks went up 600 points. Yeah, uh, and that was, it was pretty critical, Judge, because a lot of us felt that um, there was the danger that the Fed could move too fast to the upside, even though they're only quarter point moves. I mean, this is not like the half point moves that we've seen out of other Fed chairs. Uh, so quarter point moves, I wasn't so concerned about it being too fast, but I was concerned that we might go too far. And based on his comments yesterday, Scott, we're not going to be going too far at this point. If we heat up too much, to Brenda's point, you know, there are some good corporate earnings, I agree. Um, if we start seeing uh, a majority of those heating up too much and wages pick up too much, he'll go right back to saying, well, I'm chasing up to neutral instead of basically even with neutral. But do we have, if you do believe what Lavornia says, that, that it's a game changer, mm -hmm. is that enough to get this end of year rally going? Do you need something? Yes significant from the trade standpoint this weekend, G20, in this meeting between the two presidents? You need something to not be terribly negative between Xi Jinping and our president. Um, if you have an absence of that negativity, Judge, any positives, I agree with Brenda, any positives that come out of this, there won't be a resolution, but there could be a movement in that right direction instead of a, well, I'm going to throw another 25% on you. How do you like that? You know, that kind of tweet would be negative for the market. We'd all agree on that. But absent that, and absent some other negative comments <coughs> out of either of the two gentlemen, um, I think we're well positioned right now. So, Surat, I'd like your, your point of view. You've been a good navigator of, of the market. Your returns reflect that. You've, it sounds to me, uh, been a bit more of a seller on some of these rips, if you want to, rather than being willing to buy now on the dips. So what I've been doing is taking kind of the profits on some of the stocks that we've talked about over the last couple of years. So, so take the airlines, for example, that we've you know, all getting beaten up on when, when we had issues. So selling some of those companies like the United, taking your profits, Yum Brands, that's done really well. You know, United's up 40% for the year. Yum Brands is up double digits for the year. Put them into areas that I think are gonna give us some good returns. Now, this uncertainty part that I think I agree with everybody on the desk here, this could cause some much more volatility, but at this point, I'm redeploying back. And what if you just eliminated one of the key uncertainties, though? I mean, I think that's the point we're getting at, yes, right? You have these two pillars right. of risk. Well, the big and you can say that you maybe got rid of one, one of them, but the of other the part of the, the market that's cheap to me because of this uncertainty is industrials mm -hmm. and cyclicals. And they're really reflecting kind of this unknown, how are we going to say what our earnings are for next year, just because we don't know our input costs. And you can talk to companies, UTX, GM, all of them really don't know how to handle it. And I think you get a little bit of certainty like you did with interest rates. Those stocks are ready to go from 10, 12 times earnings back up to 15. Okay.